Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Hill 2x2 cipher. Um, and this cipher only shows up on most of the Division C tests. So this is kind of tailored for those type of tests. Uh, the main thing that you need to know about the cipher is that it's based on a lot of matrix multiplication, um, which can sound scary at some times, uh, but you really just need to remember a couple formulas and then it's going to be super simple to decrypt the cipher. So let's go get ahead and get started with this question over here, which says that we want to decode this following quote using the keyword of bull. All right. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to get the inverse of this matrix. Now, if you don't know how to do that, there's a very simple formula, and this is probably the only formula that you need to remember throughout solving the entire thing, is that A, B, C, D, the inverse of this is equal to something uh, that we call the determinant, which is a, D minus B, C times we're going to do D minus B minus C and A. So if you notice, we essentially just flip these two and then um, turn both of these as negative. And that's how we got, you know, D minus B minus C minus A. <clears throat> and so all we really need to do is we need to solve that and then we have our inverse and then everything turns out to be very, very easy. So the first point is you just need to remember that formula. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to try to, um, you know, compute the inverse here. So um, what we're going to do is um, let's start off by computing the determinant. And the first thing, or one thing that you always need to remember is that every um, answer that you find has to be in mod 26. So that just means that, you know, your values can range from 0 to 25. But the moment that it hits 26, you reset again at 0. If it's 27, it's equal to 1. And, you know, so on and so forth. So... Um, let's try to find the determinant. So if we just fill in the values, and we're going to use this matrix that we have right here, it's going to be um, 1 times 11 minus 2 times 11. And remember, everything is mod 26. So this ends up, if you calculate it yourself, it's going to end up to be 209, which if we find the mod 26 of, is going to be 25. All right, now we're going to go ahead and multiply. So now we know that this value over here is equal to 25. Now we're going to go ahead and multiply it. So what we're going to get is, you know, 25 times 11, negative 20, negative 11, and 1, which is just equal to 25 times Oh, oops, 25 times 11, 25 times negative 20, 25 times negative 11, and 25 times 1. We keep solving this. We're going to get 275, negative 500, negative 275, and 25. Now remember, we need to do the mod 26 of all of this, which like I said earlier, is just you divide the number by 26 and you know whatever is your remainder is um, essentially as long as it's under 26 um, what you're going to get as your mod 26. So 275 you're going to get 15, negative 500 you're going to get 20, um, negative 275 you're going to get 11 and then 25 is just going to stay as 25. All right um, okay, so now that we have our inverse matrix, it is 15, 20, 11, 25. Now we're going to try to decode our um, message over here. So here we have 15, 20, uh, 11, 25. 
Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to multiply it by every pair of two. And you have to convert these to their um, numerical value. So these numbers range from, once again, 0 to 25. And so in the case where Z would be 25 and A would be 0, and so here M is going to be 12 and V is going to end up to be 21. If you do the math and compute this out, um, I'll just show you an example for the first one. So it's going to be 15 times 12 plus 20 times 21. 11 times uh, 12 plus 25 times 21. If you compute this, add it all up, you're going to get 600 over 657, which mod 26 is just equal to 2 divided by 7, or not divide by, apologies, 2 by 7. And then if we look at the numerical value, well, a is 0, b is uh, 1, c is going to be 2, and then you can do the same thing for 7, you're going to get h. So now we have c and h. Now all we're going to do is we're going to do this for every single pair of 2. So the next one is going to be 15, 20, 11, 25 times W and G, which are equal to 22 and 6. If we do this entire multiplication step, you're going to get 450 over 392. And if we do mod 26, you're going to get 8 over 2, which is just going to be equal to I and C. Let's keep going for Q and O. You're going to get 15, 20, 11, 25 times Q and O, which is equal to 16 and 14. If we multiply it all out, you get 520 um, and then 526, which is just going to be equal to 0 and 6, which is in A and G in mod 26. G. So you can kind of see it's Chicago something, probably. Um, but nonetheless, we're going to keep going. Because um, I just want to show you um, how it would look at, like at the very end. So now we have I and J. We're going to do 15, 20, 11, 25. I and J is equal to 8 and 9. If we multiply it out, you get 300 times over 313. If we do the mod 26, you can get 4 and 1, and that means it's an O and a B. So that means Chicago B. If we keep going, we're going to get 15, 20, 11, 25 times W and Q, which is 22 and 16. If we multiply it out, we get 6. 50 over, uh, sorry, 650 over 642 mod 26, we get 0 and 18. It ends up being A and S. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and finish it out. Um, next, we have M and Y. So if we do the same thing, you'll get M and Y is equal to 12 um, and 24. If we multiply that, you end up getting uh, 660 and 732, which is equal to 10 and 4 in mod 26, which ends up being K and E. Then we have N and M, which ends up being 13 and 12. If we multiply that, you're going to get 435 over 443. Mod 26, you get 19 and 1, which is T and B. That's pretty obvious that it's going to end up being basket, ball, but now we have an extra letter at the very end, and we don't really know what that is. So uh, let's just do the very, very last one, which is R and G together. So you're going to get 15, 20, 11, 25. R and G is equal to 17 and 6. Then you get 375 and 337, which in mod 26 is equal to 11 and 25, which is L and Z. So the very last letter we found out was L and Z. Okay, 
So hopefully all of that made some sense to you. What you really just need to remember is this formula right here. If you can figure that formula out, everything else becomes so much easier. Um, but yeah, uh, it's probably helpful to refresh, um, get a quick refresher on how to do mod. I know I didn't explain it too well here, um, but if you guys want, I can make another video explaining how mod 26 works. Um, but yeah, that's really all you need to know. So as usual, here is a practice question. Here it tells you that you have the keyword of reef and these are the, this is the matrix that you found or that we have. And so you, once again, you just need to find the inverse of this and then multiply it by each pair of two. So go ahead and pause this video right here and try this um, cipher all on your own. All right, so hopefully you guys pause the video and the answer you should have gotten is warm weather is amazing. So it was pretty simple. You find the inverse of this um, using the formula given up here. And then uh, you're just going to multiply it by each pair of two. All right, so hopefully all of that made sense to you. Um, once again, I know it looks really intimidating, but with some practice, um, it's super simple to actually solve these. All you need to remember is the formula. Um, you need to know matrix multiplication and just remember if you keep everything a little bit organized, it's going to be really easy for you to then be able to solve this. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, like, and subscribe. And let me know down in the comments if you guys have any questions on this and I'll be uh, more than happy to answer them. Thank you.